Hi everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial. This time we're going to continually talk about the uh, TensorBolt. So last time we're going, we uh, already defined the graphs over here, like this one. And this time we're going to show you how to define the histogram to show every layers, the bias, the change, or the output change, or other, other stuff, or the, the weights. Uh, so for every layers. And also, the events over here. The event is basically to, to record the loss for every steps or define the, the error for your prediction and your uh, real value. So this is what we're going to do for today. So uh, we're back to this code. As before, <laughs> as same as before, I will upload this, uh, this code in my description. You can find the link in my description. So this time, uh, just I think I, I don't change anything. But I add the make up some real data over here. Have we have the x data and the y data, just like the uh, the, the the last few last few of tutorial. And we define placeholder, add layer, prediction, and loss, and trend step, and. Um, that's similar to last tutorial, just based on the last tutorial. So if you want to show the loss right over here, we're going to use um, the one in here. So we're going to use tf dot uh, scalar summary scalar summary. And we give this summary a name. We call it loss. And we actually recording the loss. So we pass the loss into this summary. And uh, that should be fine. And if you want to define any event in this area, you would only use the scalar summary. If you want to use, if you want to record the histogram, uh, just like in here. You're going to use another summary that called I will show you in here. Uh, you, uh, we called uh, because we are going to record the, the the weights. So we use this one just like histogram histogram summary. This is another type of summary. So we have histogram summary and uh, scalar summary. Over here, so histogram summary. We just use. Um, I need to give it a name, so I choose the layer name as the uh, histogram summary name, and uh, I give the weights. And actually, this is to record the weights. So, how to define the layer name? We just pass another variable into it. The layer name that's so good and we define the layer name or we or maybe just pass n layer so which layer is that n layer and the layer name is equal to the layer pass the strand into this layer n layer so once we define this is the first layer is pass the one into here so this will becomes to layer one if we pass to uh, this the number two they will uh, they will show the layer two so the layer name is layer one layer two layer three like that so as the same as the we define the weights we can use the same way to define the bias So this is the bias and also the result or we just ignore this one we just put the output the output use the histogram to record the output 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 yeah output and output yeah, you can you can use the histogram to record this one, but uh, in this tutorial, I don't want to record it. But you just try yourself. 
and so um, this is the yeah the two basic way to record the uh, the summary and this one is not finished we need to run we need to run to train the network right train the network to see how many uh, changes for every step so we're going to we're going to oh before that we have to define another thing called merge merged basically the merge is to say to merge all summaries whatever the the uh, scalar summary or histogram summary to merge all summaries at once summary summaries right if I spell you wrong summaries yeah uh, and we have to run the merge later on when we when we uh, doing the training step so for I in range uh, 1000 steps and session dot run train step to improve the, the training results train step and feed uh, dictionary equals to uh, access and x data y as y data right and later on for every 50 steps uh, no I for every 50 step we record one time the result this is the the, the summary result is not some other results so session dot run if we want to get the summary results we have to run the merge because we have merged all results in here so this is to get all results and uh, the feed dictionary is equal to I just copy and paste make it easy life Oh, cool. And the last step is to write. Use the writer to add this summary. This result, basically, this result into the summary. Summary file that we will, sh we will show you later on. And to write the summary, add the summary into, into uh, this logs file folder. So every time, so the, the, every time we run the result, and this result is for histogram result and also the scalar result, and we will also record the step. So, so for example, if I run it to 50 times and record that at that point 50 50 times uh, training, and I have a, a loss. I have the scalar results of the loss, maybe it's uh, two, and as the uh, 100 step uh, in here, 100 step, I have another another loss about 0 0.5 something like that. So now this should be fine. This is uh, this. Uh, let's first to uh, delete this lock. In order to avoid to to duplicate, so we run this scrap. Uh, and oh yeah, yeah, we haven't defined any name for for those one. And layers equals to this is the first one, so we pass one and copy and paste. This is the second layer we pass two, right? This is all down, maybe. Let me show. Yeah, that's all fine. So you can find the lock, same as before. And we have to run this one in our terminal. So we have to stop that one. So it just makes sure that the, your root, root directory is the same as the root directory of locks. So once we make sure, before, because my logs is in my desktop, so uh, this is, should be fine. So I just 
run this another time. Yeah, TensorBot, uh, log directory equals to the logs. Then it will find this file in the logs and and plot into my uh, browser. So I just copy these links again to to put into my browser. If you cannot find any uh, events file under the, over here, you probably need to do, uh, use the Google Charm to uh, to visualize it because other browser may not support this one. So this is the loss. As you can see, the loss is generally be reduced, which means the, the neural network learns something, and uh, after maybe 50, yeah, 50 steps the uh, loss is reduced to just close to zero means that the neural network learns very well and the histogram over here we can plot the uh, bias the, this one is the, uh, the, the distribution of the bias so as the first step over here the distribution is, looks like this the, the, the darker uh, colors means there, were, there was lots of bias in this range. So the, the lighter column is that there, there will be uh, uh, not, ma not many bias in this range. So it's same as the output and same as the weights. Uh, I, can't show, I can't show you as below. <laughs> it's too close. Um, so that is all for today. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments. I would uh, check it out. And uh, if you like my tutorials, just uh, you can subscribe to my channel to access more uh, TensorFlow videos in, in my channel. So hope you will like that. And next time, we're going to talk about the uh, classification problem in the uh, TensorFlow. So previously, we just talked about how to uh, how to do in the how to do the regression problem but next time we're going to talk about the classification problem so it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different between the regression and, and classification but uh, uh, it's pretty much similar so you just take a look of that and see you next time bye